All right, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode in our countdown to the Forbidden West, where I count down my top 10 favorite machines in Horizon Zero Dawn. It is now five days until the release of Horizon Forbidden West, so today is number five. If I go to our notebook here and in our machine catalog, in my opinion, number five is the Fire Bellaback. Now, looking at, when I was making this list, I was not really expecting the Fire Bellaback to be all that high. If I was being honest, because I, I went ahead and decided to rank every machine just to make sh double sure that my top 10 was what my top 10 was. And the main reason why the Fire Bellaback is my favorite, uh, or, or sorry, my fifth favorite, uh, is because, plain and simple, my first experience ever fighting one. Uh, it is purely just one of those once-in-a-lifetime type gaming memories. Uh, it was my first time playing the game, and I was... I think level 8, maybe. Might have been even less, I don't know. And I decided to just go into Cauldron Sigma. Because why not, you know? You only live once, right? So I decided to go into Cauldron Sigma, just have fun. And the end fight there is with a Fire Bellback, which I had never seen one before. And I had oh so few resources because I did not expect Cauldron Sigma to be as big as it was. In order to finish off that fire bell back, I quickly found out that I had to get every single shot perfect. Uh, <laughs> because otherwise it just wasn't going to work. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not reloading this because I'm not wanting to redo Cauldron Sigma. I'm just going to keep redoing this boss fight. <laughs> I'm just going to keep redoing the boss fight. I'm not joking. I did that boss fight for eight hours. <laughs> you would think that would result in me absolutely hating Fire Bellabacks, but it all honestly, it actually results in the opposite. I actually grew to love these things. Uh, not to mention, they're just a really cool design, even if it's a rather simple to beat them, especially now that I know exactly what I'm doing in this game, but that f cauldron fight really honed my skills with the bow, really honed my ability to fight in combat, and almost always come out victorious as a result. I rarely ever truly ran into trouble after a Cauldron Sigma that first time because, good lord, that that drilled this game into me and, and how to do combat. So let me go ahead and go over back to our notebook here. If I click on our fireball back here, you actually get unlocks from them at Cauldron Chi. Cauldron Chi is... Oh, clicked on the wrong button. Cauldron Chi is actually all the way down here in the very far south of the Jewel. Uh, and so you gotta go ahead and do that. It's sort of like a mid-tier... Uh, cauldron, not too difficult, not too easy. Not as easy as Cauldron Sigma, not nearly as hard as Cauldron Zeta. So that is where the Fire Bellbacks uh, unlocks are at. It, the Fire Bellback is strong against fire. Surprise, surprise. You don't really fight enemies with their own strength, but they're weak to freeze. Uh, that tends to be a, a theme. Creatures are, or machines are strong with fire, or weak to freeze, and vice versa. If you go back and look at the Freeze Bellback, as you can see, it's the exact opposite. Strong against freeze, weak against fire. Other than that, it's exactly the same machine. Now, there's a few uh, main weak points. They're gigantic and fairly easy to uh, to hit. That would be the cargo sack back there and the gullet right there. The easiest one, obviously, being the cargo sack. The only issue being that there is some armor plating on the front side, so you want to go ahead and try and hit it when it's facing uh, away from you, where it's much more exposed. Uh, and then once you got that going... Uh, you can go ahead and do the gullet. You kind of have to aim to the side of the head a little bit. It's a bit tricky sometimes because it does like to face right at you. Once you uh, damage these with uh, your damage arrows, they will explode and catch the machine on fire. You wait until the fire's burnt out, then you go for the other ones. That way you can do maximum tick damage. Um, and once that's done, the machine's actually usually fairly weak, and you can go ahead and just hit it with a couple arrows and probably be fine. If you're finding you're having really hard difficulty, say you're in tight quarters with this thing, and it's just always, always facing you, uh, it's good to use some tear arrows to knock off some of the armor components just to expose this main sack a little more. Other than that, though, there's not really a whole lot to this machine. Let's go ahead and get into the fight. All right, so I am right here at this campfire south of Devil's Grief, and we're going to go ahead and go over to this bellback site right here to our left. You can already see it through the trees, it's that little hit, uh, shimmer of green there. Oh, some medicinal stuff. Don't mind if I yes. Alright, so there it is. We have ourselves our fire bell back. Right there, we also have ourselves a freeze one, I believe. Yes, this one has two. 
A lot of sites have both. There's also some watchers that are kind of adding his extra support. I don't often go to this site, to be fair. This one's kind of out of, the, out of the way, but I decided to go ahead and do it to shake things up a little bit for myself. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and notch three of these arrows right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and notch some of these just in case for a rainy day, but honestly, probably not going to need them. And uh, let's, just, let's just go for it. Boom, it's on fire. It's only alerted because we only hit it the one time, so it's not actually in combat. We're going to go ahead and go over to this bush because it's going to come on over. Freeze bell back is curious as to what the heck just happened. As you can see, it's a little bit harder to hit this bellows in the front here. We definitely don't want to hit it when it's this close. We're going to let it do its thing here. Does it know we're here? It might not. No, it does. It does. It does. It does. It does. Ah, miss. I didn't want to miss there. There we go. So yeah, that's a fire bell back right there. I even managed to kill it without uh, having to fight the other machines. Hello, arrow floating in the air. If we go ahead and loot the body, as you can see, it doesn't really give us a whole lot. On occasion, you can get some coils. Uh, you're definitely not going to get any purple ones, though, so... We're not here to fight anything else. You're not part of this video. <laughs> um, yeah, they're not really all that hard. They're not... Um, they don't have a whole lot of health, and so when you're in the late game, obviously, they're very, very easy. However, when I fought in the early game, very under-leveled, very under-equipped, very under-prepared to go into a cauldron of any kind... Uh, it was actually really, really intense and very, very difficult. And so it definitely left a really uh, strong impression on me. And I've, I've definitely grown to like even the freeze variant. Free, freeze variant's cool. It's just I fought the fire variant, so that's that's what I remember. But freeze is also pretty cool, too. Now, we didn't really get to see them fight all that much. Uh, they do have a few different fire attacks. And this one, in case a uh, freeze attack, where they kind of sometimes lob a little bit of freeze at you, similar to the snap maw. They can also go ahead and have like a almost like a flamethrower-like attack. Oh. Watch to the side. Do want to say hi? I missed. I am too far to the side. Nope. Yep, like that, right there. Except imagine being fire. <laughs> oh, I'm having a little too much fun just playing around at this point. All right, that's really about all I have to say about Bellabax. So thank you all. Have a great day.